Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make perfectly cooked chicken thighs in a cast iron skillet. Now, this is a cooking technique that every healthy home cook wants to have in their back pocket because number one, it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mm. And number two, it comes together very quickly. It's a really simple recipe to make. So it's an ideal meal for a busy weeknight. And I find that most people are usually looking for that style of meal once the week gets rolling. Personally, I love to make it with a big green salad on the side and maybe an extra side veggie. And I find that it's very family friendly. Everybody in our house goes crazy for this recipe. So what I have are four bone in skin on chicken thighs. And just an FYI, I do get my chicken from a company called ButcherBox. If you've been watching, you know that I'm a big fan of high quality meats and ButcherBox is a company who delivers um, organic, pastured, grass-fed meats right to your door on a monthly basis. So they really take a lot of the heavy lifting out of it and I really recommend them, especially if you live in an area where you have a hard time getting your hands on good quality meat. So I will leave a link down in the description box below if you wanna check them out. They offer everybody in the Clean and Delicious community $10 off their first order, plus a pack of their uncured, no sugar bacon. So if high quality meats are important to you, be sure to check that out. So the first thing I do is pat the chicken dry with a paper towel. This just absorbs all of the excess moisture and it ensures that our chicken is gonna be nice and crispy and not steam when it's in the pan. Then we wanna season it up. So first I start with the skin side and you want to generously season the skin with some salt and pepper. Now I like using a kosher salt because as you can see, the granules are a little bit bigger. It just makes for a really great flavor. It has a really great texture. Go ahead and sprinkle that over the top with a little bit of ground pepper as well. Then flip them over and season the opposite side with a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Now, you can leave it as is. It will be absolutely delicious, a lot of flavor just from the salt and the pepper. Or you can use this as an opportunity to be a little more creative and add some more flavor. So I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of smoked paprika because I really like the flavor of that combo. But when I tell you, you could use any spice mixture that you like, so have a little bit of fun with it. Just make sure that you don't put your spices on the skin side because we're gonna be cooking this chicken skin side down in the pan and if you put the spices on the skin, they're gonna end up burning. Okay, from here we're gonna move everything over to the stove and I have a 12 inch cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna turn on my heat and get that heating over a medium, medium high heat. We want that skillet to get nice and hot and I am also preheating the oven to 425 degrees. Now, once the skillet is getting hot, I'm gonna add in some coconut oil. I like using coconut oil because it has a high smoke point. You could also do a little bit of avocado oil here or even a little bit of ghee. Now, you will know that your pan is right where you want it because the oil will be so hot that I'll have like a little glisten to it. It'll be shimmering in the pan. And so I'm gonna take my chicken thighs and put them skin side down in the pan. And you're gonna hear that loud sear. That's how you know that the pan is right where you want it. From here, I just like to put a splatter screen over the top because the oil is very hot and the chicken is gonna render off a lot of fat. And if you don't cover it, you're just gonna end up with a lot of splattered oil all over your stove and then that's just another thing you're gonna have to clean later. So let this cook anywhere between six and eight minutes. You don't really wanna touch it. You can check it after about six minutes. The way you're gonna know that it's ready is that it's going to easily come up from the pan. It's not gonna be stuck. You're not gonna have to wiggle it around. It's just gonna release easily. And when you flip it, you will see it has this beautiful golden brown color. Shut the heat off, pop the whole pan into the oven. Now be very careful here because the pan is super hot and it's very heavy. So just keep that in mind as you do the transfer. And then let it go for another 20, 25 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken is 165 degrees. Now, if this were regular life, this would be a great time to pull together your salad or whatever side veggie, set the table, and then before you know it, dinner is gonna be ready to serve. Oh. You can see that that skin is nice and crispy. It has that golden brown color and the chicken is very juicy. The nice thing about chicken thighs is that they're very hard to overdo because they do have more fat than say a chicken breast. Even if you go over a little bit, they still stay nice and juicy. Mmm. 
get a little crisp from that chicken skin and the meat is nice and juicy and it's seasoned perfectly. And FYI, if you don't eat chicken skin, still cook it with the chicken skin on and then just remove it at the end because it helps to ensure that your chicken will stay nice and juicy. I'm telling you guys, you are going to love this cooking technique. It is also great if you want to make a bunch of chicken on the weekend and then pull it out as a head start ingredient during the week. You can shred it up and add it to a salad, um, make a sandwich, a quesadilla, so many options. So I am so excited for you to try this recipe. As always, when you do, do me a favor, take a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all the clean and deliciousness you are whipping up in your very own kitchens. And remember, I also have that link for you down below for ButcherBox if you are interested in high quality, pastured, organic, grass-fed meats delivered right to your door, then you are gonna want to check them out. And anybody in the clean and delicious community will save $10 off their first order and receive a pack of their uncured, no sugar added bacon. And if you haven't already, would you please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. So the first thing you need are some bone in, skin on chicken breasts. And the chicken that I'm using today, I said breasts, right? So what you need are, um, are we good so far? Am I crazy? Mm -hmm. Goes crazy for it.